Hi, this is Jimmy Mike Grevin coming to you from Chicago as usual. And today we're going to go back to Sovereign Citizen University, a little something I'm going to call Sovereign Citizen University number two. I'm using some new software here. It's uh, StreamYard. If I can, I'll put a link in the description below. I don't know if I have one, but if I have one, I'll put one in the link, link in the description below and let me know what you think about the new uh, software. Well, this should be fun. I got some new software and uh, I can use it to share my screen here and also for live streaming, which was really the point of it. Uh, I, ho I hope to get there, but I'm going to practice with a couple of videos that I'm just recording so I can learn how to manipulate. So for today, we're uh, we're going to look at a little video called Meeting Your Straw Man, and it is just incredibly stupid. the government. It loves you and wants to keep you safe and well. It even wants to make paying taxes, fines, and court costs easier for you. How? Well, you'll need to meet your straw man. He was born this Okay, th this is uh, already gone off the rails. First of all, my first impression of this video, it was sent to me by a viewer, and I thank you for it. I, I can't find it. It was, it was a while back. Um, I can't find the comment, but a viewer sent it to me and warned me. <laughs> and, and it is really, you know, out there and, and uh, manipulative. But the, the first thing that strikes me about this is obviously it's sort of a, a throwback style. And the production value on this is extremely high the voice and the animation and all of that somebody put a lot of time into this nonsense same day you were. he looks like you has the same name and lives in your house if you never knew he existed you will have even paid his parking ticket for taxes the worst part he's been dead from day one from every birth certificate a legal personality or legal fiction is created with the same name to confuse little old you into thinking it's you. So there's a human you and a paper you, or as it's commonly known, a straw man. No, there isn't. Um, yeah, I mean, you have legal documents that are associated with you because uh, what, what else are they going to use? What, what else is the government going to use to to be aware of you? Uh, all, all this is is complete nonsense. You you are you. The, the documents are a representation of you, uh, you know, in the United States, you get a social security number. I'm sure you get a similar type of thing in other countries and they associate that with your date of birth and, and you. And, it, it, you know, that's just the way it is. It seems like government officials, court clerks, or the police are speaking English. They aren't. They're speaking legalese, designed to make you agree to verbal and written contracts without even knowing about it. All stemmed from Black's Law Dictionary. <laughs> so good it's so good i don't know where to begin it all started from black's law dictionary no it didn't the uh, black's law dictionary is a dictionary uh, okay the, the they're not they're, they're, they are speaking legalese in the sense that yes there are certain words that are used um in, when discussing the law because the law basically is handed down over a long period of time so some of those phrases get antiquated or have, are of foreign origin or have specific meanings so that that that's just going to happen when you're talking about law. You're gonna you're gonna have uh, th that those sorts of uh, phrases and things. But let, let's carry on with this crazy, shall we? For example, when the police say, "Do you understand?" You'll say, "Yes." What they are really saying is, "Do you stand under our authority?" Oops, a daisy. No, what they're really saying is, do you understand? I, I've said something to you and I want to know if you comprehend it so that we can, we can move forward. You're under their authority to start with, okay? It has nothing to do with contract or anything else. You don't get to consent. You are under the authority of the jurisdiction that you are born or currently just physically present in, whether you consented to it or not. If you, if, if you, if you travel to a country, you've consented to jurisdiction by the, fact, by the mere fact that you chose to go there. 
if you are born in a country you never consented, you were born into a world where laws apply to you that you never consented to. That is true. You may not like it, but it's facts. You just created a verbal contract with them. Oh, you clever government. Do you know that whenever you register something, you are handing over a title to the person you register it with? That's right. Whenever you register something with the government, they assume it belongs... Again, this is just... <laughs> <laughs> Absolute craziness. There's no contract required. You are you are already subject to the laws. Let's start there. Um, and some of those laws are, for instance, you need to register your vehicle. And uh, you, you've got to do that. And if you don't do that, then you're going to get pulled over. And in a lot of places, uh, th this, I, I'm guessing, is British. I could be wrong. Um, it's sort of American in style, but uh, I'm, I'm basing that on on them referring to European things like vet tax and, and uh, using the pound sign instead of the dollar sign, that, that sort of thing. But um, I, I, I've heard, believe me, numerous times in my comments that if, if your car is not registered or insured in the UK, they will impound that thing and crush it. So, you know, that's, that's it. They don't need any contractual... Um, justification or or your consent or anything else just just the fact that you're driving on their roads that's enough yeah. registered your car super now you are the registered keeper of your vehicle and the government can crush it when you don't pay your um, straw man taxes expecting a new bundle of joy well then you need to register your little darling with a birth certificate then they can start the process all over again and create a new straw man for your little one. Isn't that great? So when Junior grows up, he'll be able to generate revenue just like you have. When you notify on your baby by signing the birth certificate, your child becomes a ward of state. And if the government doesn't like what you're doing, it'll... <laughs> when you notify on your baby. Uh, no, you have to, they're, they're, again, you're subject to laws and, and you, and if you're going to do anything in a normal way, like for instance, have a baby at a hospital or something, you're just going to have to do these things. If you don't, they're, they're going to think you're strange and, and come after you for other reasons, but, um, you're, you're not notifying on your baby. You're, you're creating, uh, uh, the paperwork that, that you're, that you're required to by law, but also it's going to be helpful to them. They're, they're worried about things like, uh, shots and immunization and all that. And then they, they further get on there. They say, oh, well, then your baby is now a source of revenue. Well, yeah, your baby is a source of revenue uh, in the sense that that uh, eventually they will probably um, do, you know, do something productive and make some money and be taxed on it. So, yeah, you know, I guess we're all a source of revenue for, for the government in that sense, although a lot of this audience is more of a drain than a, than a uh, contributor to the government. I assume it's okay to take the child away or make new rules for things they don't like. Not enough school, smacking your child, shouting too loudly, and it's off to social services for the little one. When you get a bill, it's sent to you, but belongs to your straw man, not you. <laughs> oh yeah. Sometimes you'll see your surname in capitals, just like on a gravestone. And it doesn't matter. Your straw man is dead, and just a silly piece of paper, created before you could comprehend or even consent to it. When you go to court, you represent your straw man. So you, the human, take on any cop. I like this part. I, I had to back up a little bit to, to show that off. Of course, this is uh, the Masonic symbolism on there, which is which is part and parcel of this whole nonsense that, uh, you know, they're into Masonic um, conspiracies or whatever. <laughs> this is a court with uh, with um, Masonic symbolism all over it. Uh, I, I don't I don't you know, I, I can never figure out exactly what crazy that they're, they're coming up with. But I, I do know that it's that it's in the mix for them. You represent your straw man. So you, the human, take on any costs, fees, taxes, and fines involved for the straw man. The human you doesn't even need to pay them, but you made a con. Oh uh, yeah, you do. The real ne you needs to pay them. I, th th this, I I don't know how they expect anyone to buy into this nonsense. 
your straw man supposedly is is a paper fiction or whatever your straw man didn't park a car in the wrong place your saw your straw man didn't um create a tax debt that that, that uh, they didn't pay your straw man didn't um order bills on a credit card or, or order excuse me goods for on a credit card and then not pay it your straw man didn't do anything you did it it's it, it, you're not taking responsibility for somebody else it, it, oh the, the, the whole notion of it is just well it's deliciously awful is what it is contacted the court by appearing on behalf of your legal personality or straw man just like the government knew you would confused <laughs> well don't worry the government doesn't want you to know anyway if you knew you'd stop paying things like council tax and parking tickets because when you go to court, you are representing your straw man. You are. No, you're not. Uh, I'm not confused. You're confused. Well, or, or more to the point, you're probably engaged in some sort of fraud to, to get people to pay for this uh, awful and completely wrong information. You are you alive and made of flesh and blood. Your straw man or legal personality is a piece of paper created from your birth certificate. And you think it's you. What a silly Billy. Would you like to know more? Well, then go over to tpuc.org. Get up, get informed, and get real. Well, there you have it. Uh, more fun with Sovereign Citizen University. Uh, now we get a good idea of where some of these crazy, crazy ideas come from. Uh, when I first saw this video, I thought it was a joke and that it was coming from the perspective of making fun of Sovereign Citizens. But now, now as I watch it through, I think that they are serious. Um, and also, it, it's interesting. I'll put a link to the, script, uh, to the original video in the description below. Um, but it's got over a million views, and I didn't look at that many. But I did peruse the first uh, page or so of comments, and uh, these are fans. These are people who think that this is uh, honestly a good idea. It's amazing. Here at Law Talk, we answer all your legal questions and give uh, detailed analysis of uh, current events. Who am I kidding? We just mostly laugh at horrible, horrible court appearances. And uh, occasionally you might learn something, but I promise I'll try to keep that to a minimum. Thanks for watching.